Hello and welcome back to Phoenix Point. Yeah, world domination is uh, not uh, going so well. Uh, a lot of red mist on the map. Uh, about to uh, take over a lot of bases. And I'm not... Not too chummy with uh, any of the factions, really. Uh, only the... Well... Synedrion really wants me to... Well, I don't know. They don't like me. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, that's the other factions. Well done. At any rate, uh, I want to secure a base in South America, but I'm not sure how exactly works the bases. I'm not sure if you like there are, are there any guaranteed bases. Uh, we are also waiting for gear for uh, Team 2. So we can head out. Now oh, let's search the area. Oh, 500 mats and 80 food. Let's do that. Um, how much? A Haven is under attack. Wait, what? Okay, we can jump there. Attacking force points, 16. Defending force points, 6. Uh, but does that mean like 16 people attacking? I really hope not. I'm, I'm really hoping to just finish this. Explore. It seems like the difficulty is just ramping up a little bit. I just I just want enough gear. It would take us 15 hours. Wait. Can I just go for some partial gear? So anyone who's not in Manticore 1 uh, automatically signs up for Manticore 2. And everyone is kind of ready, except Linwood, who is definitely not ready. And he has all the golem gear except the armor. And he actually can have a weapon, I believe. Weapon? Do we have a weapon? No, we don't. Wait. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. And uh, we can have uh, maybe a met kit with that. Actually, maybe we shouldn't because we still have to use the armor. And we don't have a spare armor. It's 14 hours to uh, finish it. And this base uh, very much needs to be defended. Access lift is completely useless. We figured that out. But we need fabricators. Maybe we can even go food production. But I could I could really use a fabricator. Where is that? Uh, I don't know. We just we just don't have a lot of resources to really take advantage of it. Suddenly, like it was it was a pretty easy ride up to this point. Now it's ramping up big time. I don't think we have 14 hours here. I don't think these guys have 14 hours. No, they, they definitely don't. I mean, we gotta attack with what we got. Or just let them uh, fall. Okay. Wait. What, what are you missing here? Not taking an armor does seem like a very dodgy move. No, that's not good. Okay, uh, you go. We have to. We have to fight. We can't just lose everybody. And this is a high threat mission. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Uh, doesn't seem like the A team. They are not. Okay then. Uh, some of them are better. 
But overall, not the A-team. Oh my god. Uh, if we are just dealing with numbers, it might be okay. But I don't think we're just dealing with numbers here. We also have to deal with uh, some tough opponents. Now, this is just a bad idea. I'm just, I'm just, uh... Well, we can run away. We can still take a fight and run away. So... I can't really say there's no harm in trying. Because we can definitely die. But, uh, if we are being careful... We might be okay. Because, uh, many times when it comes to the def defense missions... Uh, there are a lot of enemies, but they spread out. They go for the objectives. And uh, we gotta be mo mostly ignore the objectives, except one. So as long as we save at least one, uh, assuming there's there are multiple ones to save, we gotta be just fine. Yeah, we see two machines out in the open. That should be easy to cover with a sniper. We can just keep going back. Uh, we have Cameron Dragon. Wait, what? Where's the? Oh my god, game. Auto save. We forgot to bring the truck. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, sure. We got the truck. By the way, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. And also, it seems like the truck has eight. I, I looked into it, and the truck has eight uh, shots. And apparently, there there's just no way to replenish it. Oh shit! That 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 is brutal. Holy crap! That's infinite fireworms. Can we just shoot at it? Why? Oh, we can kind of shoot at it this way. Oh my god. I hate that guy. Really? That's just one enemy? Oh my god. Actually, this is not an easy one to take out with AOE. Uh, has a lot of hit points. Making him bleed is hard. That's usually why uh, explosive weapons are decent. You just make people bleed. But in this scenario, not so much. Uh, we gotta keep an eye out for the objectives. We got two objectives over here, one over here, two lined up, so we're in a, a slightly different uh, scenario. Uh, when I fucked up. Wait, what? You can hit the leg? I mean, that's nice. I mean, this is almost a guaranteed hit. So I guess I'll take it. Uh, we gotta take out that big slug. Uh, maybe going for a high ground would be nice. Should I just take a, a pistol shot at him as well? Actually, kind of pointless because 36 armor? What the fuck is that? We have a heavy. <clears throat> yeah. What's our plan? We have a heavy, and last time, well, last time we fought the spider like this, uh, the heavy was actually quite useful. But, uh, wait, what? Oh shit, the heavy doesn't have a jetpack because he doesn't have an armor. Of course. Uh, a team over here, boys. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know why I, why I took them. We, ju we just... Wait, where's the exit? Partially I took them, so... If it goes badly, we can just go away. Well, well, we can go away that. 
at the well, at the bottom of the map. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. We can't just do uh, assault rifle here. That's gonna be too weak. I can just run up top with dash. Well, not fully, but a little bit. Pushing on. And that could be really good. Let's do. Two enemies spotted. I'm well, maybe not as good. Take some shots. High ground is usually quite uh, OP. Do we have any movements left? If so, use it. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good position. I don't know. Maybe we're just gonna hold it. Uh, the truck is fine. We can even take the heavy cover and just park it there. And hopefully we don't get shot at the top of the building. That's great. Just shoot that. Uh, we should probably use the truck. Take out the, the weaklings. Not the big spider. So that's three enemies. When the game says three enemies, then... All of those count as one. The big spider too. <laughs> oh my god, game. What the fuck? Something else? Mm, not that easy to AOE them. Count the shot. Oh no. We got a siren as well. You know what would be cool? Running over the slugs. Holy shit. Shotgun. We can't run over the slug. Look at that. Nope, that doesn't work. All set. So we got the sniper here who actually can't do much. That's a decent shot, actually. A very decent shot. What the fuck? Okay. What about the other slug? You need to get close. I'm going. Okay. Identifying target. It's fine by me. So what else we got? Yeah, you need to deal with that slug. And we don't have anything else that we can do. A little annoying. But I guess I'll just go to the edge. Actually, it will give us no defense if we do that. I would need to go over there maybe. Sure. Uh, the truck is fine. So let's see what we got here. So maybe we can do a, a multi shot. I'm not super concerned about the truck. I just want the juiciest hits. Oh, that looks okay. I want the siren to die. No, that's not the best. Something like that could be great. What the fuck? Let's go for the best shot. Something like that.
Is the siren bleeding? No, but took a lot of damage. And we have Cameron up top taking out some uh, crabs, I guess. That's not gonna work. But we can shoot at the crab. One crab gone. I stayed in position so we can double shot. Well, the siren is dangerous. That's very tanky. But easy to hit. Relatively. Let's do that. Yeah, we're gonna stay. So the sniper is mostly on fire slug cleanup duty. But we need either the heavy weapons guy or the sniper to take out the, the big boy. Oh shit. Still kind of wasting time with that, although that's a shotgun guy. That's not great. They entered the building. At least very much hugging it. We won't be able to hit them. With artillery. Okay, that's fine. So it seems like they're gonna just uh, leave using the front door in front of them. But am I hugging at least one production facility? I think I am. Actually, we're just wasting ammo. So we have one. Actually, well, I just call it one. I can make a shot at that guy or the slug. Not that. We can make a shot at Kiran. I think that's what we want. Lower some armor, fine. Not much else we can do here. We can point some slugs. Ready to fire. Okay. I do we keep using uh, pistols. Or just guaranteed kill one of them with sniper. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We have... Two... Rockets left. So actually we can fire four times. Oh shit, I need to go back. And we are not gonna fire. Okay. I can't really make that shot. That's cool. Uh, I wanna try that shooting him a little bit over here. Not in the Serapis. Okay. Now the choice between pistoling these slugs. If I pistol it, the chance of kidding it is... It's not bad. It's e easier hit the one on the right, I believe. This is the only one I can hit? Okay. Maybe I should just run off. This slug might just blow up in my face. Okay, I'm just gonna come back. I'm not super happy about it. If anything, uh, the truck probably should just come out. And try to draw some fire. 
last thing I need is the sniper dying. Hopefully the heavy is going to draw fire. Okay, uh, the truck is kind of drawing attention. Ah, just going back and going with the fire slugs. Come on, game. I'm not super concerned with the fire slugs. If he can just kill the group coming uh, out of the door very soon. We can deal with the fire slugs. Also keep in mind that the truck is useless after two shots. Two more shots. So that's all we got. No more shots than that. Oh, that's not good. I, I really want you guys to enter... Uh, just exit the, the building, please. Please, exit the bloody building. Because now we have to kill the mind controller. With all our might. God, more slugs? I just can't deal with them. I'm not even sure where they are now. Bye, bye, uh, bye. Ready okay, to fight. We know about one. Okay, we gotta kill this one up close. That's that's a given. But then we have to go for a sniper shot. Hopefully. Not not that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nothing else we can really sniper shot. Okay, let's see what others can do. The heavy guy is mind controlled. Out of ammo reload. God damn it. What about shotgun? Ready to fire. Yeah, we need to reload. This is not going to work. Action points. Yeah. I mean this Switching. could be Cost us zero action points, but I didn't go for that. I mean, usually the action is not not so non-stop. I can rush in on the siren. So reloading was actually questionable. Identifying target. Shoot her in the belly. No! What about my heavy weapons guy now? The thing is, it's a bit of a suicide to rush in. I don't think we can go for a shot. If I go for a shot, it will still not die. And I will probably lose the game. So, not the best. We can't do much with the worm. We can keep uh, luring it. I really hate saving my shot, but we have to. We absolutely have to enter. Fine by me. Oh shit. The problem with the heavy weapons guy, that in addition to being level 1, he also doesn't have armor. And also can't fly. Because of that. So, very tough fight. Like, what is this fight? I, I don't think I should have taken this fight, I'm just getting cocky here. Yeah, that's cool, but... We don't have enough bullets. We gotta have two more shots. And we gotta make it count. Okay, just just group group up guys. Okay. That sucks. I deserve that. And still frenzy. Jesus Christ. 
More slugs. There should be a cap to this. Really? Also, we're wasting ammo here with the uh, return fire. Yeah. I'm here. I mean, we gotta get back our guy. We gotta not die to fire slugs. Wait. How many fire slugs are there? I don't see any. I see a triton. And he's hiding. Can I just make the shot? Oh shit. Why can I see her? What if I hit the Triton? Wait, does it have a minimum range? I think we can kill the Triton. Maybe we can kill that guy too. I think that will, might be better. So we killed this guy with the explosion. Uh, we need to leave the high ground. And do a dash. Uh, like over here maybe. I'm not happy with it. We use shotgun. On the queen. Uh, siren. And... Uh, sure, let's shoot like this. One less to worry about. An Artron? Does it really work, this shot? I think we might not need to do it with uh, a shotgun. So I got back my guy. But he doesn't have any action points. And if I try to make a hit... Well, actually this should work. This guy is somehow very weak. Okay. Never mind that, apparently... Very easy. Uh, what else we got? I can hit the Triton. But actually, let's just go away with the truck. As much as we can. And rocket the Triton. Hopefully not hitting the truck. The Triton is super dead. So we can try uh, either a shotgun here. I mean, this should work. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be die. Yeah. And uh, not much we can do. We can finish off the Triton, but there's no point. Also, apparently we can Overwatch. No. Overwatch Holding position. for one less, which means free Overwatch every time with the, the sniper pistol. Okay. I think we may have more enemies, in addition to the Fire Slug guy. Which is annoying, but not particularly powerful. Do they just die? No, no, no. They're definitely not dead. Let's deal with some slugs. Wait, what? Are you out? Okay, he's out of ammo. Oh shit, he's out of ammo! Um... Punch some slugs. What else? I'm here. Okay, I guess we're gonna take out the slug. That's a kill. Yeah, but we can have the assault rifle uh assault try to take out the Chiron. We can go for a big explosion on that. Dash. I 
think it can stomp. So the legs are a little bit more exposed, or at least the the forward leg. We can hit the torso, but the abdomen is the easiest to. Okay, let's hit like that. 132 damage, not that bad. We can hit the head. The head has no armor whatsoever, but that's not saying much. Okay. We can send in a truck. Wait, am I wrong about the ammo here? Yeah, we have zero clip and one, one shot. This is the last shot. And apparently this is the last enemy. Okay, he's taking 50 bleed damage. And uh, maybe I'll just uh, start getting closer. He's gonna go for a big stompy daze, I think. Maybe a melee attack, which could really suck. No. He's fucked. He's dead. Targeting. Alrighty then! Uh, what the hell? Yay! Sure! I mean, this was too easy. Next time, why not just take one guy? Infection relations reach 50 euro line. I just want to help all the factions. I just want to get paid by everybody. Get all their tech, but somehow they just don't care about me. They're just like, oh, that's the mercenary guy that's helped us. I guess it doesn't completely suck. There you go. How about some ammo? <laughs> it's less than you actually spent trying to take these guys out to help us, but... Like... Fuck off, okay? Like, oh, yeah, great, I'll do that. <laughs> what a reward. So, team two goes back home to heal, and team one... Uh, yeah, you guys just do that. And team one keeps exploring. Our operatives have sat down near an, an abandoned mining complex. The machinery has been left to rust and no sign of anyone, alive or dead. The place has been picked clean. Searching the mine itself might yield better results, but after years of abandonment, it may no longer be safe. Let's just, just search the mining complex. I don't want to lose guys. Pretty mats. Also, we might be probably gonna get uh, uh, tired. Let's let's throw a scan here. See if we can uh, find anything else. That's the last scan. The people of Xena are friendly but cautious, built around the remains of an old fortress. Xena is a place of refuge from uh, the endless wars of the world. Its leader, Walter Ivan Tosso, remembers uh, World War Three all too vividly and isn't interested in getting involved in another pointless struggle. Didn't I read this before? I was in the army, and I was good at it. He says, speaking with a slight Italian accent. <laughs> If he's speaking with a slight Italian accent, he should say that before. I'm just gonna assume at this point that you have no fucking idea what Italian accent is, okay? But if it was up to me, I would say I would just spend my time making wine, not fighting other human beings. <laughs> I don't know how Italians sound like. That's how they sound like, right? <laughs> no. There is something the Phoenix Project could help me with. It's superficial, perhaps, but I've been thinking a lot about my family lately. I, I almost lost my family during the war. You know, took me years to track them down. I only found them a few months ago. And since then, I, I can't stop thinking about our links to the past, to old worlds. I, I don't want to go back. 
I know we can't, but we shouldn't forget about those links. M maybe they are the story of how we got here. Tozo would like us to recover an old genealogical tome from what used to be his family script. Ah, I guess we can do that. If we get paid. We better get paid. Right? I do this for money. I'm not sentimental. So... What we got here? Uh, we, get, we can get a sniper here. Which is nice. Scan complete. Scan complete. Let's see what we can do with research. Oh, let, let's just do that. Area scan. Is it possible to change the loadout of the guys that are not at home? It does seem like it's possible. What I want the most is not that. What I want the most... Is, uh... Just to keep researching. Reverse Engineer Cyclops SR7, which is just a better sniper rifle. So, the sniper... Maybe we're just gonna use our pistol for, for the time being. The problem with reverse engineering is that we're gonna lose it. Okay. We're gonna lose the one thing we got to make more. Our operatives are disturbed to report the discovery of what they describe as a pig pipeline, a bizarre growth resembling the stitched together bodies of pigs several miles long. It is unclear to what end the Pandora virus created this organism or why it recombined pig DNA to achieve its purpose. Perhaps the entire thing is an aberration. Investigate it, fight tech, burn it, five material. Let's investigate it. Uh, 100 research, let's do it. Research complete. Okay. I can now research, I mean, manufacture that gun. But I think we lost it by choosing to to make it a thing. Research. Yeah. My research is just too fast. <laughs> Bad call on my part. I mean, I, I just don't know how much you actually need. I think ideally you would want like three at this point. Also, I don't know. It's fine. We're not really missing out on much by having a lot of research. We have team two. Almost, we're kind of ready for an action, right? We are just gonna have him. Oh, actually, he can level up. That's useless. Let's go for better punch. Ah, uh, we can go willpower, speeds. We can just go strength too. So let's do that. So he's gonna have an armor. He's gonna maybe have a, a med kit. Uh, she's just fine. Wait, what? Uh, the sniper? I think the sniper has good gear, so yeah. Uh, we gotta take Manticore 2 out. It's a little annoying that we don't see what the vehicle is in Manticore 2 or not, unless we are outside. Uh, I don't know if you want to go for all the crazy stuff, but I would, wouldn't mind just uh, checking out an unexplored site over there with Manticore 2. And Manticore 1 is doing the same bloody thing. I just explore. And we're gonna uh, pop an area scan over there. 
We have received an unconfirmed report of someone dying during a potentially ODI-related uh, recurring nightmare. The individual in question had supposedly reported that with each repetition of the dream, they came closer to the gates of a tomb in a vast dead city under a black sky. It's hard to judge what exactly this means without more evidence. That they kill us in our sleep. Oh shit. It's a big ambush. I know how to use bleed. Two manticores are fine. I'm just trying to optimize it. But of course, I'm playing the game for the first time on the hardest difficulty. So, I mean, it could be tricky. We need a alien containment. What I should do, I'm not sure if Team 1 has it. Team 1 should go back and get itself if we don't have already one already uh, a paralyzing glove something like that so we can actually capture aliens very much like XCOM and but it kind of makes sense you know like it's not very much like XCOM you know like yeah you need to know your enemy so capturing them makes sense there you have it so it's not not nonsensical Sometimes it bleeds. I mean, I, I know about that tip, okay, game. The load screens just seem a little uh, lengthy. Unjustified, for sure. Channel open. Edge Mobius Maverick. Yeah, we are in the middle of the map. We need to survive. The Viking. Uh, what we have here? So he's a sniper guy. But he can also use shotguns. But not right now. In Fred Nublin. Okay, he was very close. Oh yeah, we do have a a claw we can consider using, but maybe not in the survival free turns high threat mission. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, we don't have a sniper rifle. We just have to use a pistol. Okay, then. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna kill everybody. Aiming. It's not gonna be easy. So we can get closer. A little bit that helps a lot. Ready to engage. It's the easiest to hit. Well, we took out the launcher arm. Yeah, that's not great. You're still gonna get shot a lot of times. We gotta take out four guys. Hiding will not work. Let's do this. Ready to fire. Okay. What else we got? So we deal sixty damage with the pistol. It actually be so much higher if you upgrade it. I didn't do that. We can do a quick aim. Acquiring 
so target? we're gonna have a a very accurate shot with the pistol in the leg right in the leg that's what I want fire again around the leg area and just fire over here well we should definitely focus our shots Which one is easier to kill? Okay. Shot That's not good. And we can also go for uh, Overwatch. Free Overwatch with the pistol. It's a pretty good choice. Uh, yeah, that was a waste. Fred. Fred can do a dash. Pushing on. Preparing to fire. Okay. Fred can do another dash. No time to lose. So at least one of them will die. Very much so. Uh, let's hit the leg or head, head. Actually, if he, if he targeted the one on the right with everything, this could have been uh, just perfect. What we have here? A sniper. And we got another sniper. Well, apparently, we don't have a line of sight, actually, never mind that. We do have a line of sight from over here. Uh, you're just gonna make the shots. It's not a great shot. But it... Yeah. Launcher arm. Let's hit the arm. God. You suck. <laughs> oh, we can do a double shot. Oh, but only um, oh, we can't. We, we can't kind of. So this guy is going to be hard to kill, apparently. Just hiding. Can't do anything. What else we got? Yeah, killing the Artron. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But can be. Yeah, I think killing the Artron is still the way to go. If he can. It doesn't really matter where I try to hide. We're just gonna get shot in the ass. Okay, let's make the shot. Arm would be the best. Okay, he's gonna bleed to death. Uh, okay, whatever. We can just cover. Uh, he's, this guy's gonna move, I, I suppose. Not much we can do. Let's enter. Yeah, he's hiding. Not necessarily going to reveal itself. Equipment damaged. Oh shit. 100 damage. If he came any closer, that would have been super dangerous. Oh crap. Uh, we do have a lot of snipers, so 
That's not exactly a big problem. Mm. Okay. Guess it's my turn. We can do a double shot on him if we if we feel the need. Do we do we just do that? Okay, let's do double shots. Confirming target. Oh, the other one. Pretty good Attack shot. Successful. They just keep hiding, you bastards. Okay, so what we got? Oh, we can use a shotgun here. It's pretty okay. Uh, we can just walk up with the shotgun. Although, keep in mind, he has a shotgun too. But I think he has low armor. So... If you just shoot him in the head, or maybe arm, whatever, he's gonna die. He's down, I, I think. But it's still risky. Enemy, where are you? Okay, just camping over there. We got this melee guy who's useless. I guess he can run over there just to pretend to be useful. And who else we got? The sniper heavy. Uh, I guess he's just gonna Let's take go. a little bit of cover and start uh, covering an area. And the heavy? No. An assault who lost an arm. Going for the. New Razor. I don't know. I mean, this would be nice, but at the same time... I don't know. <laughs> Seems pretty unlikely. I have one character who can probably pull it off. Does this guy have it? Oh, he has... No, he doesn't have one. Who has it? No choice but to keep going. Okay, so we have two new razors. Um, the two questionable characters. <laughs> Holy shit. Disabled head. Well, at least you can only shoot once. Sniper. Let's see if we can somehow pull it off. We need to do a new razor. It's apparently... Wait, we, we don't have dash. So I need to go over there. And somehow take him out, I believe. Oh shit, he's going to die! You idiot! You're going to die! What a ballsy guy. <laughs> okay, uh, try this, uh... No. You try that. Attack it? No, no, no. I, I guess attack it? What are you doing? Strike. No, no, no. I, I, it's strike. Wait, what? Is it based on his HP? If not, then there's no way we take it out. No, not recover. That's not what I want. Let's I want to get into range a little bit Ready to fire. and maybe soften up this guy. Just in case that matters. Gotcha. Uh, 
Um, let's try to go for the leg. Nice. He might be too. No, no, he's still good. He already lost the leg. No. Okay, whatever. And turn. Oh crap! You kidding me? This was easier with the truck. Oh no. Where can we escape? Okay, everyone, go there. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Damn right. Run fast. Run like the wind. Everybody. Especially the guy who almost died. Go. Bleeding to death? Does that matter? Nah. Just just run. Sprinting to position. I shouldn't be able to catch us, right? Okay. They're not even uh in a hurry. Fine. Yeah. I would like to see games uh, done in a simultaneous turn-based uh, system. Uh, of course, a lot of games are done done that way, but uh, and I guess they don't have to be. But in this scenario, I mean, like it's just it just takes too long. I've got to be quick. To run out, run off the map, something that should take uh, five seconds takes five minutes, and something that previously should have taken like two minutes would have taken three hours. That's kind of the disadvantage of the turn-based system. Okay then, uh, everybody just go out. And I mean everybody. And hopefully it's gonna be fine. Okay. Evacuate everybody. Okay, apparently we need to evacuate them one by one. Are we good? It makes sense to run away. I mean, I don't wanna just fight people non-stop. For no reason. XP alone is not a good reason. It doesn't, it doesn't worth it. Go back to the Geoscape. Yeah, I know. I, I tried to defend the havens to get stuff, but having two teams is not the easiest. Another Icono class a shotgun. Uh, we can use that uh, as a research sacrifice. Can we do that? Requirements not met. Whatever. I'm making some snipers. That's decent amount of materials. So... Can I use the base here? I should, I should look into how can we gain some value. Uh, the team is a little banged up. But I kind of want to go here and at very least trigger a search. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so dumb. Area scan. Let's do an area scan. We might be able to just... Wait, what?
Okay, of course. Cool. So, this is how we get to Australia. Oh no, not Australia. Fuck, what am I... <laughs> I was like, that's why I was confused. I was like, it looked like from the other way around. It's like, what the fuck is this? Like, you just never see the, uh, the South Pole. I was like, what the fuck? That makes no sense. But that's the South Pole. But, uh, obviously... Uh, we can we can go there, or maybe we can go there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But we have to go back to the base. Move. And we also have Manticore too. I was just checking out these uh, big question marks. I don't know. I kind of expect to see more bases. I explored... Well, North America and South America. And everything in between, and, well, not really Greenland yet. And, and I kind of get it, you know? I'm like, that's a big world, but... It does seem like I kind of explored... I don't know, 30% of it? Maybe that's too much. Unless all the bases are in, are in Eastern Europe. Or Europe. I, I, that wouldn't surprise me. And Africa. Is it just based on the landmass? Or it could be just completely random. We might just have like eight bases next to each other, very unlikely. So, yeah, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.